So, hi. Hello. Um, could you uh, just introduce yourself and tell us a bit about the act and your role in it? Certainly. Um, my name is Matthew Baldwin and I am uh, the actor, the only actor in the act, um, for it is a one-man play, and I'm also the co-writer. Um, so that's double, doubly pleasurable for me to be involved. Um, so yeah, what do, you, what do you enjoy most about being in the act? Um, the cast. <laughs> no, uh, uh, everything. It's, it's been a uniquely um, terrifying but also gratifying experience because uh, originally it started off very small. Uh, Tom Hescott, my collaborator, and I um, had a short brief which was to do a, a show about counterculture in the 1960s. Um, that was it, sort of go forth and, and, and make something up, which we did. Uh, out of our imaginations, out of our own experience and out of um, some verbatim texts that we got from parliamentary discussions and, and things like that. And um, that's how it all started. Um, and then obviously working within the confines of having only one actor, trying to make it exciting in different ways and how can you tell the story and all that kind of stuff. So that's, I forgot what the question was. What, was the question? Uh, what do you enjoy most? Oh, I enjoy oh, yeah. everything. But I mean, now, now that we're getting to this stage, it's the performance that I'm enjoying the most. Um, and I can't wait to get it up in front of people and tinker around with it, see what works and what doesn't. Um, I get to play four or five different characters throughout the show, so yeah, that's probably the performance at the moment. Um, but as I say, being involved in the whole process, it's great, it's really good. Um, what advice would you give your younger self? My younger self? My younger self. Go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I would say. Relax a little bit, um, know that there is more to life than just the theatre and acting and stick in there because things, seeds that are sown years ago can suddenly grow into something lovely. My collaborator Tom and I uh, knew each other as boys and then for years and years, 15 years, we didn't see each other at all, then we got back in touch, then uh, he got the... Uh, the gig to, to write a show, he called me up and just, you know, it's amazing how things can pan out. So, yeah, relax and, uh, 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 and concentrate on the work. Nice. So. Um, what was the first moment uh, when you fell in love with theatre? I don't know if I... I can remember the first time I went to the theatre, which was to see my mum in a local amateur dramatic production of Oklahoma. And in the corner of the stage they had a little house where they all lived. Uh, obviously the characters going in and out, and I remember being fascinated by that, wanting to go into it, as if to join in with it, and then obviously afterwards I went in to see it and it was just a set, and I couldn't understand, and from then I always had a kind of, I don't know if it's a love, or a sort of a morbid fascination, for sure, um, but the theatre, for me, when it works, there's nothing like it. When it doesn't work, there's nothing like it as well, but when it does, there's a connection between, and, and I feel that as a performer as well, there's a connection between yourself and the audience that it's just, when, when you've got them, then it's, it's lovely. Yeah, that's what I'd say. Great. Um, so, finally, uh, if your life uh, was a musical, what would be the grand finale? If my life was a musical, which it pretty much is. <laughs> um, if my life was a musical, uh, the finale would be the finale from the producers, where, if you remember, they've got themselves into all kinds of trouble, largely because of the theatre, and they've all ended up in prison, and they've got balls and chains around their ankles, and then they sing a song about the musical that they're going to make, about the terrible situation that they found themselves in, and I think it was Leo and Max back on their tracks, back on the Great White Way. So, it all, all roads lead back to the theatre.